Monday of last week, you start thinking, what's that noise? I mean, there's a runaway train coming over the hill, which is the Elvis Festival. Look, the, the team are great, but you see the Elvis Festival, um, well, you know it yourself there. You've got the official shows in the pavilion that I put together. The rest I have very little involvement in because it took a while for people with pubs in Port Court to work out they're going to be busier if they put Elvis on during the Elvis weekend. But after about three or four years, they all knew what to do. So the high tide is like a, a, a machine that just runs it. They, actually, my son programs 220 Elvis shows for the high tide over the weekend. They've got six stages, two massive marquees. Um, and then even the smaller pubs just do their own thing. So I, I, I could say this, um, it, it, it's like me organising everything. It's not. It, it really runs itself. And I've got a great team. Um, people like Sarah Topham are doing the art and Kate who, who sits serenely at the desk. So, look, it's, uh, it, it's not as difficult as you think to put on an Elvis festival. I love painting him. He's beautiful. He's absolutely... I, c I could almost paint him with my eyes closed. I've painted him that often. But, yeah, it's, it, I really do... It, as many years that I've done it, still feel a thrill of painting him. It's, uh, I, I sort of get into flow when I'm painting Elvis. I run something called an um, Elvis Enrichment Club at my school, which is Brinte Comprehensive School in Bridge And once a fortnight, I have a group of uh, children who opt to come over to create artworks with us. I've got some examples of the work that they've done here. If I could hold that up and just show you. That's one of the collaborations that we've done. And some of them come along because they're fans of Elvis. Most are there because they want to do something creative, something arty. Um, some have never heard of Elvis, but by the end of the project, they love him. We play the music and we, we've had people come into the school to sing to the pupils as well. We've been out to concerts and try and immerse ourselves as much as we can and get some involvement with the festival. So I'm married to a Welshman, so and I live in Porthcawl as well, so I just can't miss it, but it's just the best weekend. And it's quiet today, but it gets really mad over the weekend. So. And your dad loved Elvis, didn't Yeah, he? my dad loved Elvis too, so when I come, I sort of almost feel close to him, which is, you know, it's a nice thing to do. And, and she spread the joy, because yes. we all love Elvis So now. my friends come with me now as well, <laughs> and of course you can see we've, we've just decided we might dress up a bit, you know, and just blend in. <laughs> Initially it was Elvis, we've, we've loved him, we're sisters and we've loved him since we were children and then somebody Mark works with said if your wife loves Elvis you must take her to Portcourt and we came and that's it, we've come every year since, it's just amazing, everyone's so friendly, it's just brilliant. If I'd had a fiver for every time we asked well, why, is, why is the Portcourt Elvis Festival so successful, the answer is the clues in the name the Porth Call Elvis Festival. It's so bloody ridiculous, it shouldn't work. And Wales has embraced it. You know, I'm very proud, nobody believes me but because of the accent, but I am actually from Abercullen. And I'm very proud that the Welsh, we've all got behind this, it's become an institution. This couldn't happen anywhere. We, we, run, we run an Elvis Festival in Benidorm, which is great but it's the Welshness of this event. It's a bit of everything, because Porth Court is just amazing. The beach is amazing. And today, just looking at it, with the weather being as good as it is, you just want to dive in there. Yeah. And the people are really, really friendly, yeah. really down to air. Welsh people are just lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Just so friendly. And everybody just wants to yeah. chat. They want their pic to take. And then everybody's just like, you look lovely. And that's quite a buzz, really, isn't And it? how yeah. often do you get the chance to dress up? Not yeah. often. Yeah. And we can all do with a bit of dressing up after yeah. Covid, couldn't we? Indeed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Of course I'm loving We're it. We're all loving yeah. it, yeah. I, yeah, I can't approve. Let's be honest about it. Because we're both single, why not? Let's be honest. <laughs> this painting here, particularly, is my first um, sort of try out at digital artwork. I've not done it before. This is my first ever one. And this was inspired from um, a couple of years ago. Alba Archie won one of the um, LV's awards for inclusivity. So this is titled Pride of Memphis, as Elvis was. And I've incorporated the pride rainbow into that as well. So quite a nice sort of nod to that um, inclusivity that the whole festival 
tries to encourage, I suppose. There are so many good tribute artists. They are absolutely top of their game. So we're really lucky to have that. And very often it's free. You know, you can walk around and these, these people will be performing for free. So. Well, today we had a little youngster coming up. He must have been all of 10, really dressed up in the full Elvis gear. And he was absolutely loving it. And we've also seen in the competition people doing Elvis throughout their ages. Yeah. And you see that all in one afternoon. Second one, yeah. We went, came the first time last year. Um, loved it so much, loved all the entertainment, all the people are so friendly, so we like to come back every year now. The, the friendliness of everybody that you meet is just incredible, isn't it? And that's kind of one of the move? things that... <laughs> yeah, we, we actually have talked about moving to this area. We love it that much, so... We're going to see the best festival Elvis at the minute, the next one. But we've seen all of them in the oh, pavilion. Yeah, we, we do we're the We're looking lot. for the whole We've lot. got the whole, yeah. And then in between that, we go rushing off and find some pubs with the not-so-good ones, but they're still amazing. Even the not-very-good ones, it's just brilliant. All the way down, Elvis, all the way here, all the way back. Yeah, we've just come from outside Liverpool. Um, so we're here for the full weekend. In fact, we're here for the week, actually, so we're just looking around for all the uh, shows that are going on, you know. Pick anywhere you want to go, and there's always a little show going on, so that's what we love about it as well. You know, it's not just the one place or a couple of places, it's just everywhere there's something laid on. So, yeah, he's he's an icon, and whether that is an icon for pride, whether that's an icon for music, whether it's an icon for the genres or the eras that he he represented, Elvis is such a visual to use that terminology again icon fits him exactly. We're going to the Grand Pavilion to see the Trilogy show on Sunday. We saw that last year and we were just blown away. Apart from that, this year we've decided, we did book quite a few shows last year, but this year we've decided to just go with the flow. Wherever our feet take us is where we'll end up and just enjoy ourselves. We prefer to, you know, walk around different places than be sort of stuck to one place, really. And if you go around, you tend to see all of the Elvises anyway, somewhere or another, over the weekend. The best show of the whole weekend has just finished. It's, they call it Sing Along at Elvis. And it was, the idea wasn't mine, it was, the idea was a gentleman called Phil Rickson, who was the mayor of Porth Call years ago, he passed away a couple of years ago. And it's for special needs groups. So Herons Bridge School bring kids down. Uh, there's a um, like a sheltered living place, bring all their tenants down. And all of the Elvises turn up and just sing. It, it, that's the best show. Then we've got the competition that starts this afternoon, goes on tomorrow afternoon. And then the winner performs at the Elvise. The original show behind this was the Elvise Award Show. That was my original idea. It was like a Grammys for Elvis tribute artists. Then Sunday we got the gospel show, which is everybody always wants tickets for that. We got classic Elvis for the Cardiff Philharmonic Orchestra and the Meister Gleeman Male Voice Choir. And then we do Trilogy as the show. So those shows pretty much, we don't play around with those. The High Tide, well, as Lewis programmes, 220 odd shows down there. And here, Sunday at midday, no, oh, yes, yeah, Sunday midday, best dressed hound dog. Dogs dressed as Elvis. Well, well, yeah, what, what do you want? Honestly, she's like a walking, you know, it's like a tour guide, isn't yeah. it, with Elvis? Yeah. He's, it's just so lovely. It's a brilliant weekend, and I'd encourage and anyone... look at the sunshine, sparkles. Yes, sparkles. Sparkling. Anybody, if, any, if anyone's around, they should come, because, yes. you know, it's just the best thing to come and do.